Korean food. Soup, soy, kimchi, ferments, seaweed, vegetables, perilla leaves, spice, spice, and more spice. Hey guys, it's Liz Mew and welcome to the first ever episode of Culture Bite. This episode is all about the Korean food. We're going to be cooking, shopping and eating with two of my favorite Koreans, the amazing Sasha from Earthling Sasha and her mom, Sue. They've invited me over today to cook some traditional, amazing Korean food in their kitchen. So I hope you're excited because I am and I'm also really hungry. Let's go. So a recap. What are we making today, guys? So, we're gonna make denjong jjigae, which is on the stove right now. We're cooking some fresh rice to eat that with. We're cooking some jokbukki, spicy Korean rice cake. And we're gonna go outside, harvest some pumpkin leaves to steam. And we're making kimchi Korean pancakes. Woo! So the first thing we're making today is called tenjang jjigae, which is a Korean fermented soybean paste stew. And that might not sound delicious, I realize that now, but stay with me guys, please, because it is absolutely marvelous, fantastic, irresistible, amazing. So tenjang is similar to Japanese miso. Both are fermented soybean paste, but Korean tenjang is sharper and deeper and just so much more complex in flavor. Today I'm lucky enough to be trying two homemade paste and Sasha and Sue are using tenjang and a variation of tenjang called chonggukjang and they've been fermented for slightly different amounts of time and have slightly different flavors. Oh, that's very salty. Oh, very. Mm -hmm. We're also using a traditional Korean cooking clay pot called a tukbaegi to cook the soup. So here we have a shiitake broth and we're going to put the mushrooms in there too. Let's check out this. So to start the broth just goes onto the stove and Sue's just adding some of both the paste and then we have some prepped chunky chunky veg. We've got some Korean zucchini, garlic, onion, potato, um, there's also some tofu on there, peppers and some spring onion. Then we have some homemade kimchi, oh my gosh, add that flavour Sue, add it. And then all the veg goes in except for the tofu and the spring onions and then we just put that lid on and let the magic happen. Let's see how it goes. Let me see that. Progress. Whoa. That's the real sound of tension. Really just so simple and delicious and easy. That's pretty much done. We're just gonna add the tofu, let it stew for a little bit more, but that is finished. Now it's onto the dokboki, the classic Korean rice cakes. Let's start with the sauce. You need a couple of tablespoons of gochujang, which is the Korean spicy paste, followed by gochugaru, the Korean pepper flakes, a little bit of sugar for some sweetness. We're gonna add some white pepper as well for a little bit of spice, a little bit of soy sauce, a lot of garlic, and then we're just gonna mix that all together for a flavor bomb sauce. Now this was just so easy to cook. Sue just added some veggie stock into a large saucepan. She added the sauce that she just made and dissolved it in a little bit. And then we just added some cabbage. Now you can use whatever you like. We just wanted to show you the most basic version of dokboki to show you how easy it really is. But you can use broccoli, potato, cabbage, you know, whatever you wanna add, put it in. This is fair game. Dokboki is super flexible. Next, we're gonna add all the rice cakes, all of them. We added some rice cakes in ball form, then we added some wheat rice cakes. I'm not sure how that works if it's wheat rice cakes. But anyway, give it a good stir with all of the rice cakes in there, and then we're gonna put some fresh cut spring onions. Sprinkle that on top, mm mm mm. My favorite is adding enoki here to it. And that's done. Look at that. That looks amazing. Next, we went outside to pick some fresh leaves for our lunch. Here, we're picking some pumpkin leaves to steam. I didn't even know you could eat pumpkin leaves, but you can. And this is just so magical to me. Now, these are perilla leaves, also called sesame leaves. But uh, this is just 
amazing. This is one of my favorite things in the whole world, eating fresh produce. I'm talking like super, super fresh, less than 20 minutes between picking it and eating it. This is just true magic, guys. I, I'm just so blown away by the, by the farm to table thing. I love it. This is our lunch spread. How amazing does this look, honestly? Just wow, oh my goodness. We got tenjang jjigae finished off with beautiful enoki mushrooms and that's to be eaten with the steamed pumpkin leaves and cabbage wraps and fresh perilla leaves. Then we eat that with rice. We got tteokbokki. We have beautiful kimchi pancakes, which I forgot to film, but if you'd like me to post the recipe, just let me know in the comments below. And because Korean food is all about the side dishes, we've got some tofu, we have some young fern shoots, and then we have some seasoned and roasted seaweed called kim. And we couldn't have Korean food, of course, without some kimchi. And finally, we have some samjang sauce to put on top of everything. So basically, you just get your pumpkin leaf. So you get a pumpkin leaf and a prilla leaf. Prilla leaf. And you just want to get all the good stuff in the soup. Thick ones without the soup. All the, all the yeah. veggies, all oh, the tofu. Okay. Like all the bits. Yeah. yeah. Put it in. You mm -hmm. can add a bit of rice. That's always a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and some junk. Oh. You can get that. Not too much. Okay, we're going to add some some junk. There's what? no like problem with wrapping it. Just, you just, you're going to get it all over your hands. Like mixture. a little parcel. So you're okay, I didn't parcel it, it. it. Yeah, and you just do it one, one go. Oh my god, one go. Yeah. I didn't do this very well. Um. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely delicious. Mm. I'm going again. <laughs> Go for it. This meal was wholesome in every single way possible and I didn't want to spend too much time talking to the camera because I just wanted to be present at lunch and enjoy it with everyone else so I hope that's okay with you guys you're just gonna have to take my word for this this meal was so delicious nutritious and flavorful and fresh I hope that you can see Korean food is way more than just Korean barbecue and we just had some really good conversations that afternoon and some kind of weird ones too like this like you know, you know who looks Korean? Viv Viv looks so Korean. I thought she was Korean. I thought she was Korean. Hundred percent. For a long time. I was like, I know she's Korean. Like you don't get that face if you're Korean. Hundred percent. That's a Korean face. Keep an eye out for parts two and three. We're gonna go shopping with Sasha and Sue at a Korean grocery market, and then we're also gonna go eat at a Korean restaurant. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>